I just want to touch it. Okay. Whoo! Is that going? I think it's going. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, world. Uh, Terry here along with... Christy. Yay. <laughs> we are here. I uh, just got... Uh, we'll just put out a mad props for Citizen Soldiers. Great local band in Utah. Just got off that um, concert. We're on a little high. And my sister uh, texted me. Said there's huge news in the Dr. Pepper world. Isn't that what she said? It yeah. It, not word for word, but mm-hmm. You got to, let's have some backup story. Woo, we're rewinding all the way back to my childhood in Minnesota where my great aunt, grandma Isabel was a Dr. Pepperholic. <laughs> yes, she was. She lived to be 100. So I figure, follow your heroes, right? So my favorite drink is a Dr. Pepper. Um, lately, they've kind of come out with some cute little strawberries, and those are good. And, but I would always go to the gas stations or whatever, and I'd get a dirty Dr. Pepper. That's a Mormon, like, booze, I guess. I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's Dr. Pepper, a couple squirts of coconut, and uh, a squeezed lime. And you throw the lime rind in there. I mean, what's more clean than an open lime rind from a gas station with people touching it? Not much. So, my sister says, great news on the horizon. And tells us about this Dr. Pepper creamy coconut. And I'm thinking, wow, they finally did it. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, <laughs> she's not as excited. I don't know. Maybe you have, <laughs> maybe, maybe you have other uh, drinks you like. I don't know. <laughs> she's been dying. Okay, she has it. been dying. Well, not dying because she's alive. Here's a pulse to prove it. <laughs> anyway, so I go to Walmart. Uh, I'm trying to do this on the sly. She has no idea why I go in there. So I had to like, they didn't have it. There was like all these places where it used to be, says coconut, Dr. gone. So I'm like, my sister's right. This must be really good. But I'm like, if I come out with nothing, she's like, why would you, why did you go into Walmart? So I had to give her this, but it's awesome. Look at that. She gets a little treat because she has passed some, some practice tests. She's uh, done her medical billing and coding up top. She's uh, passing all her school. She has the big test at the end and, She's taking her practice, practice test, just dominating. There's 10 of them. And, and you're I'm dominating them. Yeah, 81 yeah. on the last one. So this is her that gift and a, also a ploy because I she was on the phone. I'm like, I'll be right back. She's like, what? And so if I came out with nothing, she'd be like, why did you go in there? And then I'd have to explain, but I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Here it is. There it is. Dirty Dr. Pepper right there. Got two of them. Oh, so I go to Smith's after Walmart. They didn't have any, right? So I asked someone. They're like, well, it's on the end cap if it's there and it's not. So I asked someone else, do you have any? And she's like, there's a couple in the back. And they got them right there. I got them. They're mine. Anyway, we're going to review this for you. It's a limited a dish. We're gonna open them. Oh, I usually have a, like a cup of ice with this, but this is pretty cold. It must, the back room must not have uh, heat. Cheers, babe. Oh, we don't do that. Oh. <laughs> we do it around the block. How do you do that? Uh, gonna, right, go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. If I, I'm in a predicament. If I tell them how good it is, they're going to go buy the rest of these. Mm. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> Pretty dang good. That's great. Dr. Pepper, you've done it again. Um, you know, this isn't even multi-level marketing, but I'm going to give them props. I'm going to tell people about Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, you want to put me in a pyramid and give me some, some uh, you know, money of everybody that buys it from my from me then that's great i'll accept the money mm. you know this you know why this tastes so good too why so my wife and i we're getting older like everyone else every day you get older and we uh see this little tooth here see that one we got some sweet tooths uh but we're gonna try to eat healthy so, we came up with a plan. 
more like me and she's going along with it but props are going along with it boom jellyfish anyway we can't just not go without sweet I, I, I gotta have some doctor once in a while it's what he ordered it's a prescription look it up anyway so we said we can't just say no more caffeine no more treats no more nothing and just eat healthy we would die right mm. we would probably die Mm -hmm. Of sadness. Of sadness. <laughs> People just get sad and just... <laughs> like a video game, just power off. Anyway, so we don't want to power off like a video game, so we've come up with a little thing. Taco Tuesday, you can't mess with that. You got to have a soda with your tacos, and, um, you know, Sunday's the big pot roast and dessert. So, so we're just saying every Wednesday... And every Thursday, you can join us, people. It's all about your health. Every Wednesday and Thursday, vegan. Vegan across the board. The word of wisdom says to eat meat sparingly. So we are going to chow down Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Or not Thursday. Actually, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <clears throat> no, we're, we're going to, you know, try to get this uh, whole health thing uh, situated. Vegan is amazing. I... I I was vegan for a little bit, lost a lot of weight, felt great. There, you know, do your studies, people. It's a, it's a good way, good way to live. Not the whole, you know, throw blood on people that are wearing wool. You know, that one's a little crazy, let's be honest. But the, the actual eating of, you know, staying away from meats and dairies and stuff. So Wednesday and Thursday, we're pure vegan, but we're healthy vegans. On Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to... No more this. We'll have to put it off a little bit. So, actually, I haven't had. It's Friday today. So, uh, two days of. We even went out to eat. Spaghetti factory. Mm -hmm. Your daughter got a Dr. Pepper. Oh, she did? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was very hard. But it's not hard if you know on Friday you can buy tw two 24 packs. It's amazing. You're 12, whatever. So, but yes, we highly recommend. I do. Do you recommend? Mm -hmm. I mean, I keep drinking it. Oh, she's just like a Dr. Holic right here. Check her in. <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my grandma lived to be 100 years old. And there, were, I don't think I've ever been to her house. Okay. I would go to her house, open up her fridge. There would be Mountain Dew all on the bottom shelf, Dr. Pepper on the top two shelves, and then Hershey's Chocolate in all the other drawers. There were, I, don't, she, I don't know how she lives to be 100. It's, I'm not saying live like that, but I'm not, not saying drink Dr. Pepper is what I'm saying. Dr. Pepper, you've done it again, and I love you, and this is a good review. I love it. But not as much as I love you. <laughs> Okay, we gotta turn this off. <laughs> it won't go 